God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blood out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. <clears throat> Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness. Attend unto my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face let my judgment come forth. Let mine eyes behold the brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard, set my footsteps in thy paths, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me, and from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me, their mouth, <coughs> they look, <coughs> they look askance to heaven, they have taken me, as might a lion ready for his prey, as might a lion's wealth that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few do thou separate them from the earth and their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasure hath their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine, and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled with thy glory as made manifest to me. <coughs> Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God. In thee have I trusted, let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame, let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For in thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me. For the sake of thy goodness, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. There will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth. Unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him. His covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he that is will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil. And forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God. <clears throat> Out of all his afflictions 
Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee. That thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, as thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Where if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with a blazed and whole burnt offering. Then shalt thou offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the bodiless one learned the secret command, and haste he came and stood which bore Joseph's dwelling, and spake unto the maiden who knew not what luck, the one who hath bowed the heavens by his descent, is held and contained unchanging holy in thee, seeing him receiving the form of a servant in thy womb. I stand in awe and cry to thee, Rejoice, thou bright unwedded, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that hath blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate, intercede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blood out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. To thee, the champion leader, we thy servants dedicate a feast of victory and of thanksgiving, as ones rescued out of sufferings, O Theotokos, but as thou art one with might which is invincible, from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us, that we may cry to thee. Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners. Who callest all to salvation through the promise of good things to come? Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. 
Help us as about with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the we magnify, in the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O Master God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, one God had one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou knowest, save me, thy unworthy servant, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flieth by day, 
nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of the noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art my hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come, on, come, nigh thee, come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw near unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in thy, all thy ways. On their hands shall they, they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Upon the ass and basilisk sh shall thou dread, tread. Thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon, for he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days I will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go down. When the bodiless one learned the secret command, in haste he came and stood before Joseph's dwelling, and spake unto the maiden who knew not wedlock, the one who hath bowed, the one who hath bound the heavens by his descent, is held and contained, unchanging, holy in thee. Seeing him receiving the form of a servant in thy womb, I stand in awe and cry to thee, rejoice, thou bride unwedded. Glory to thee. both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, do thou beseech him that was born of thee over in Theotokos, for the supplication of a mother availeth much to win the master's favor. Disdain not the prayers of sinners, all pure one, for merciful and mighty is to save is he who deigned to also to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for, for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, moral, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, God, our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. To thee, the champion leader, we thy servants dedicate a feast of victory and of thanksgiving as the ones rescued out of sufferings of Theotokos. As thou art one with might which is invincible, from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us. Then we cry to thee, rejoice thou bride unwedded. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at all times and every hour in heaven and on earth art worship and glorified, O Christ God, who are long suffering and plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loves the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who calls all salvation with the promise of good things to come, receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide us, guide our life toward thy commandments, sanctify our souls, make chase our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about by thy holy angels, that guard and guided by thy reign, we attain the unity of faith with the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gives birth to God the Word, the very faith of us, do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O God and Lord of hosts and maker of all creation, who by the tender compassion didst of mercy of thy mercy, which transcendeth comprehension, didst send out thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
for the salvation of our race, and by his cross did tear us under the handwriting of our sins, and thereby did triumph over principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou thyself, O Master, love over mankind, accept also from us sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts into the words or thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for, longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee and guided by thy light, as we behold thy, thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing pray, praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the unerring Father, and only begotten Son, and thou, all holy and good and life created Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our God, have mercy on us. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, come the spirit of truth, who are ever present, fill us all things, treasure your good things, and give real life. Come into all us and tens of all, and carry you and save our souls, a good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy moral, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mother, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, and ask to pardon our iniquities. A whole and visit and heal and praise for that name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, both thou and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, will thou ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let's worship God our King. O come, let's worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let's worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. Master Lord Jesus Christ our God, source of life and immortality, creator of all things visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-merge, the Son of the Unerring Father, who out of thy great goodness didst in the light of days, close thy close thy self in, in flesh, and was crucified and buried for us, ungrateful and evil disposed ones, and as renewed by thine own blood our nature corrupted by sin, do thou thyself, O immortal king, accept the repentance of me, a sinner, and incline thine ear to me, and hearken unto my words, for I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to look upon the height of thy glory. For I have angered thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments, and not obeying thine injunctions. But thou, O Lord, who have not vengeful, but long suffering and plenteous in mercy, hast not given me over to be destroyed from my sins, but always thou awakes my complete conversion. Thou hast said, O Lord, for mankind, through thy prophet, for I desire not the death of a sinner, but that he should return and live. For thou desirest not, O Master, to destroy the work of thy hands, neither shall I be pleased with the destruction of men, desirest that all be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. Wherefore, even I, although unworthy of heaven and earth and of this temporal life, having submitted my whole self to sin, and have made myself a slave of pleasure, having to face thine image, yet being thy work in creation, wretched though I be, I despair not of my salvation, and dare to approach thine immeasurable love and kindness. Accept then even me, O Lord, love of mankind, as thou dost accept the sinful woman, the, pe the publican, and the prodigal. Take away the heavy burden of my sins, and of my sins, thou that takest away the sin of the world, and heals from the infirmities of mankind. Who calls the weary, heavy laden unto thyself and gives them rest? Who kings not call the righteous but sinners to repentance? Do thou cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and teach me to achieve holiness and fear of thee, that with the testimony of my conscience, receiving a portion of thy holy things, I may be united unto thy holy body and blood, and have thee living and inviting in me with the Father and thy Holy Spirit. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ my God, let not the kingdom of thy immaculate life giving mysteries be unto me for judgment, neither into infirmity of soul and body, because of my partaking of them unworthily. But grant me until my last breath to receive without condemnation a portion of thy holy things, and to communion with the Holy Spirit, as a prevention for life eternal, as an, for an acceptable defense of thy dredge, judgment seat, so that I also, with all thine elect, may become a partaker of thine incorruptible blessings, which thou dost hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom are glorified unto the ages. Amen. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor
more sufficient that thou shouldst enter beneath the roof of the temple of my soul for all this. Christ my God, who is for me, cleanse and forgive me, thy sinful and profitable and unworthy servant, my transgressions and offenses of all things to sin, which I have committed against thee from my youth until the present day and hour, whether consciously or unconsciously, whether by words or deeds, in thought and imagination, in habit in all my senses, do, and through the intercessions of her that ceaselessly gave thee worth, most pure and ever virgin Mary, thy mother, the only hope that makes me not ashamed, in my meditation salvation, God save me without condemnation to take uh, of thine immaculate, mortal, and life and awesome mysteries. Under the remission of sins and for life eternal, and the sanctification, enlightenment of strength, healing, and health of both soul and body, and the consumption, complete destruction of my evil reasonings and intentions and prejudices, and dark and nocturnal fantasies of nocturnal fantasies of dark and evil spirits, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, and the honor and worship of the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Yeah. 
Jacob and Christ, all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For this land is a curtis in armed forces, and all who with faith and fight to dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That he may deliver his people from the enemies, visible and invisible, and, and may confirm in us oneness of mind, rather than love and piety, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Call on to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theodokas and our Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God.
and of the chief priests and scribes and be healed, and after three days rise again. At that time, Jesus entered in a certain village, and a certain woman called named Martha received him into her house, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered uh, about much servings, and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Be her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. And it came to pass as he spake this thing, and certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed, blessed is the womb that bare thee, and perhaps which thou hast sought. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the God and keep it. Thou that desirest 
Christ from thy holy church. We pray, thee, O merciful Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou that hast given us thy commandments to love thee, our God, and love our neighbor, for the hatreds, enmities, offenses, revenge are outbreaking, and all other iniquities cease, and the true love should reign in our hearts. We pray, thee, our Savior, hearken and mercifully have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We have sinned and committed in iniquity, wherefore thy righteousness wrath hath smitten us, O Lord our God, and the shadow of death has fallen upon us, and we are brought to the very gates of Hades, but in our sickness we cry, with compassion, compunction unto thee, O God, spare us, spare thy people, and just not destroy us utterly, but humbly pray thee, hearken, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who has dominion over life and death, shut not the souls of thy servants up in death, but cause thy wrath to cease and stop thy anger, for our days vanish like smoke, our strength has faded away, and we perish utterly because of our sins. Be thou merciful that unto thy servants, in repentance we beseech thee with tears, hearken, and have mercy. Servants, Mr. Halton, and the friendly suffering flock, praise Gleb Tatiana, Anastasia, Elena, Sophia, Seraphine, praise Matthew, Raphael, Basil, Macrina, Emilia, Sophia, Xenia, Subdeacon Adam, Adriana, Minister, Reader Mark, Victor, Elizabeth, Julia, Michael, and protect them from all tribulation, harm, wrath, and necessity, and from every sickness of soul and body, granting them health with length of days. Let us all safely to hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And again, we pray to our Lord and Savior that He might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. souls and bodies with compassion and contrite hearts we fall down before thee and drawing we cry unto thee heal the sickness heal the passions of the souls and bodies of thy servants major holland skillar and herman theodosius with bishop skirill peter bishop george ashman dritz job seraphim anthony archpriest andrew priest michael and sergius deacon vitali Servants of God, Olga, Lydia, Natalia, Julia, Lubov, Leo, Tatiana, Juliana, Anna, Nicholas, Vera, Olga, Sophia, Natalia, Susanna, Anna, Sophia, Fatina, Elizabeth, Victor, Victoria, and all the parishioners of this holy temple who are suffering from illness, and pardon them, for thou art kind-hearted, all transgressions voluntary and involuntary, and we arise them up from their bed of sickness, we pray they hearken, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And again, we pray for them that bring, off, bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present, that the weight of the great and abundant mercy. Oh, Lord. 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 Oh,
enemies, the destructive threatening of earth, thy terrible sword, that all the old invisible cutteth us grievously, and spare thy poor and needy servants, and close not with death the souls of us who have fallen down in repentance with broken hearts and tears before thee, our kind-hearted, condescending, and accommodating God. For thine it is to show mercy and to save us, O our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Break our commands to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Be faithful with us, pray for the catechumens, that the, the Lord will have mercy on them, that he will catechize them with the word of truth, that he will reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Ye correct humans, bow your heads unto the Lord. Thus with us they also be glorified. Thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. As many of the great humans depart, great humans depart. As many of the great humans depart, let none of the great humans remain. As many as there of the faithful again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. For unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the great state of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and for them with good faith, reverence, and fear of God and church of being, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom.
Lutheran Church abroad, and all the Lord. Most servant Peter, Archbishop of Chicago in Mid America, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. This land that civil authorities and armed forces and the faithful that dwell herein, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. That God preserved Russian land and her Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. His beatitude and Ufri, Metropolitan of Kiev in all Ukraine, and his suffering flock. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. In the hope of resurrection and life eternal, may the Lord God remember his newly departed servant, Helen, in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The priesthood, the monastic order, those who are persecuted and suffering to the Orthodox faith, the founders, the benefactors, the brethren, the sisterhood, and the singers of this holy temple, and all you Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Having called to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts set offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, the lover of mankind, can accept them upon his holy and most heavenly and magnetic altar. Helper, as an order of spiritual fragrance will send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray that we may be delivered from all revelation, wrath, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a gardener of souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. That Christian aid into a life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. And in ask for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life. Unto Christ our God. And God save us, O Master, with boldness and without condemnation, who dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father and true Savior. Champion leader, we like servants dedicate the feast of thanksgiving as a victory and thanksgivings as once rescued out of sufferings, O Theotokos, as our one with might, which is invincible from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us, that may cry to thee, 
Rejoice, all bright and lighted. An archangel was sent from heaven to say to the Theotokos, Rejoice, and beholding thee, O Lord, taking bodily form, he was amazed, and with bodiless voice he stood crying to her such things as these, Rejoice thou through whom joy will shine forth, or rejoice thou through whom the curse will cease, or rejoice recall of fallen Adam, rejoice redemption of the tears of Eve, Eve. rejoice height inaccessible to human thought, rejoice death dis indiscernible even to the eyes of angels, rejoice for thou art the king's throne, rejoice for thou bearest him who beareth all, rejoice star that causes the sun to appear, rejoice womb of the divine incarnation, rejoice thou through, through whom creation is renewed, Rejoice thou through whom the Creator, we, we worship the Creator. Rejoice thou bright and wedded. Seeing herself to be chaste, the Holy One said boldly to Gabriel, The marvel of thy speech is difficult for my soul to accept. How canst thou speak of a birth from a seedless conception? And she cried, Hallelujah. Seeking to know knowledge that cannot be known, the Virgin cried to the, to the ministering one, Tell me, how can a son be born from a chaste womb? Then he spake to her in fear, only crying aloud thus, Rejoice, initiate of God's ineffable will. Rejoice, assurance of those who pray in silence. Rejoice, beginning of Christ's miracles. Rejoice, crown of his dogmas. Rejoice, heavenly ladder by which God came down. Rejoice, bridge that conveys us from heaven to earth. Rejoice, wonder of angels sounded abroad. Rejoice, wound of demons bewailed afar. Rejoice, thou who ineffably gavest birth to the light. Rejoice, thou who didst reveal thy secret to none. Rejoice, thou who surpassed the knowledge of the wise. Rejoice, thou who gavest light to the minds of the faithful. Rejoice, thou bright and wedded. The power of the Most High then overshadowed the Virgin for conception and showed, showed her fruitful womb as a sweet meadow to all who wish to reap salvation as they sing, Alleluia. Having received God into her womb, the Virgin had hastened to Elizabeth, whose unborn babe at once recognized her embrace, rejoiced, and with leaps of joy as songs cried to the Theotokos, rejoice branch of an unfading sprout, rejoice acquisition of immortal fruit, rejoice laborer that laborest for the lover of mankind, rejoice thou who gavest birth to the planter of our life, rejoice cornland yielding a rich crop of mercies, rejoice table bearing a wealth of forgiveness, rejoice thou who makest to bloom the garden of delight, Rejoice thou who prepares a haven for souls. Rejoice acceptable incense of intercession. Rejoice propitiation of all the world. Rejoice goodwill of, the, of God to mortals. Rejoice boldness of mortals before God. Rejoice thou bright and wedded. Having within a temp tempest of doubt, doubting thoughts, the chaste jo Joseph was troubled, for knowing thee to have no husband, and suspected a secret union, O blameless one. But having learned that thy conception was of the Holy Spirit, he said, Alleluia. While the angels were chanting, the shepherds heard of Christ's coming in the flesh, and having run to the shepherd, they beheld him as a blameless lamb that had been pastured in Mary's womb, and singing to her, they cried, Rejoice, mother of the lamb and the shepherd. Rejoice, fold of rational sheep. Rejoice, torment of invisible enemies. Rejoice, opening of the gates of paradise. Rejoice, the things of heaven, and rejoice with the earth. Rejoice for the things of earth, join chorus with the heavens. Rejoice never silent mouth of the apostles. Rejoice invincible courage of the passion bearers. Rejoice firm support of faith. Rejoice radiant token of grace. Rejoice thou through whom Hades was stripped bare. Rejoice thou through whom we are clothed in glory. Rejoice thou bright and wedded. Having sighted the divinely moving star, the mag mag magi followed its radiance, and holding it as a lamp by thy by it they sought the powerful king, and having reached the unreachable one, they rejoiced, shouting to him, Alleluia. The sons of the Ch Chaldees saw in the hands of the virgin him who with his, his hand made man, and knowing him to be the master, even though he had taken the form of a servant, they hastened to serve him with gifts, and to cry to her who is blessed. Rejoice, mother of the unsetting star, rejoice, dawn of the mystic day, Rejoice thou who didst distinguish the furnace of error. Rejo rejoice thou who didst enlighten the initiates of the Trinity. Rejoice thou who didst banish from power the inhuman tyrant. Rejoice thou who didst show us Christ the Lord, the lover of mankind. Rejoice thou who redeemest the pagan worship. Rejoice thou who dost drag us from the works of mire. 
Rejoice thou who didst quench the worship of fire. Rejoice thou who rescuest rescue from flame of the passion, from the of the passions. Rejoice, guide of the faithful to chastity. Rejoice, gladness of all generations. Rejoice thou, God unwedded. Having become God bearing heralds, the Magi returned to, to Babylon, having fulfilled thy pros- prophecy, and having preached thee to all as the Christ, they left Herod as a babbler who knew not how to sing, Alleluia. By shining in Egypt the light of truth, thou didst dispel the darkness of falsehood, for its, for its idols fell, O Savior, unable to endure thy strength. And those who were delivered from they, them cried to the Deotokos, Rejoice, uplifting of men, rejoice, downfall of demons, rejoice thou who didst trample down the dominion of delusion, rejoice thou who didst unmask the fraud of idols, rejoice, sea that didst drown the ther- pharaoh of the mind, rejoice, rock that dost refresh those thirsting for life, rejoice, pillar of fire that guideth those in darkness, rejoice, shelter of the world broad- broader than a cloud, Re- rejoice, sustain- sustenance replacing manna, Rejoice, minister of the holy delight. Rejoice, land of promise. Rejoice, thou whom through floweth, whom through floweth milk and honey. Rejoice, thou bride unwedded. When Simon was about to depart this age of delusion, thou wast brought as a babe to him, but thou wast recognized by him as perfect God also. Wherefore, marveling at thine ineffable wisdom, he cried, Alleluia. The Creator showed us a new creation with when he appeared to us whom come from him, he from for he sprang for, from a seedless womb and kept it incorruptible as it, as it was, and that seeing the miracle we might sing to her, crying out, Rejoice, flower of incorruptibility, rejoice, crown of con- continence, rejoice thou who from who from sin, sin of the arch, arch, archetype of the resurrection, rejoice thou who revealest the life of angels, rejoice tree of shining fruit where by the faithful are nourished. Rejoice, tree of God, of goodly shade, by which many are sheltered. Rejoice, thou, thou who hast carried in thy womb the redeemer of captives. Rejoice, thou who gavest birth to the guide of those astray. Rejoice, supplication before the righteous judge. Rejoice, forgiveness of many sins. Rejoice, robe of boldness for the naked. Rejoice, that that vanquishes all desire. Rejoice, O bride unwedded, having beheld a strange nativity. Let us estrange ourselves from the world and transport our minds to heaven. For the Most High God appeared on earth as a holy man, because He wished to draw to draw to the heights. He wished to draw to the heights of them that cried to Him, Alleluia. Holy was the inexpressible Word among those here below, yet in no way absent from those on high. For this was a divine condescension and and not a change of place. And His birth was from a God receiving virgin. Who heard these things? Rejoice, container of the uncontainable God. Rejoice, door of solemn mystery. Rejoice, reporter, report doubtful to un- unbelievers. Rejoice, undoubted boast of the faithful. Rejoice, all holy chariot of him who sitteth on upon the cherubim. Rejoice, O glorious temple of him who is upon, above the seraphim. Rejoice, thou who is united opportunities, op- op- opposites. Rejoice, thou who is joined virginity and motherhood. Rejoice thou whom transgression hath been absolved. Rejoice thou whom through paradise is open. Rejoice key to the kingdom of Christ. Rejoice hope of eternal things. Rejoice thou right and wedded. All of the angels were amazed at thy great act of in thine incarnation, for they saw the unapproachable God as a man, approachable to all, abiding with us and hearing from us. Alleluia. We sing most we see most eloquent orators mute as fish before thee, O Theotokos, for we for they are at a loss to tell how thou remainst a virgin and could bear a child. But we, marveling at this mystery, cry out faithfully, rejoice receptacle of the wisdom of God, rejoice treasury of his providence, rejoice thou who showest philosophers to be fools, rejoice thou who is exposest the learned as irrational, rejoice for clever critics have become foolish, rejoice for the writers of myths have faded away. Rejoice, thou who didst rend the webs of the Athenians. Athenians. Rejoice, thou who didst fill the nets of the fishermen. Rejoice, thou who did who draws draws us from the depths of ignorance. Rejoice, thou who enlightenest us many with knowledge. Rejoice, ship for those who wish to be saved. Rejoice, harbor for sailors on the sea of life. Rejoice, thou bright and wedded.
desiring to save the world, he that is the creator of all of all came to it according to, with to his own promise, that he as God is the shepherd for our sake appeared to, unto us as man for life, calling unto life as God he heareth, alleluia a bulwark art thou to virgins, and to all that flee unto thee, O virgin of Theotokos, for the maker of heaven and earth prepared thee, O most pure one, dwelt in thy womb, and taught all to call to thee, rejoice pillar of virginity, rejoice gate of salvation, rejoice leader of mental formation, rejoice bestower of divine good, rejoice for thou didst renew those conceived in shame, rejoice thou gavest, thou, for thou gavest understanding to those robbed of their minds, rejoice thou who didst spoil the corrupter of minds, Rejoice, thou who gavest birth to the sour of purity. Rejoice, bright chamber of the seedless, maid, seedless marriage. Rejoice, thou who dost web the faithful to the Lord. Rejoice, good nourisher of virgins. Rejoice, adorner of holy souls as for marriage. Rejoice, thou bride of wedded. Every hymn is, uh, that is defeated that trieth to encompass the multitude of thy many compassions. For if we offer to thee, O holy king, songs equal in number to the stand, nothing have, have we have done. Nothing have we done worthy of that which thou hast given to us. We shout to thee, Alleluia. We behold the Holy Virgin, a shining lamp appearing to those in darkness, for kindling the immaterial light. She guided all to divine knowledge. She illuminated the mind with radiance, and is honored by her shouting these things. Rejoice, ray of the noetic sun. Rejoice, radiance of the unsetting light. Rejoice, lightning of that enlightenment to our souls. Rejoice, thunder that terrifies our enemies. Rejoice thou that's caused the refulgent, refulgent, refulgent light to draw, to dawn. Rejoice thou that's caused the river of many streams to give, gush forth. Rejoice, rejoice thou who paintest the image of the font. Rejoice thou who blots out the sin, stain of sin. Rejoice that laver that washes the conscience clean. Rejoice cup that draws jo up joy. Rejoice, aroma of the sweet fragrance of Christ. Rejoice, life of mystical gladness. Rejoice, thou bride and wedded. When the absolver of all mankind desired to blot out ancient debts, of his own will he came to dwell among those that had fallen from, from his grace, and having torn up the handwriting of their sins, he heareth this from all. Alleluia. While singing of thine offspring, we pray all praise thee as living temple, O Theotokos, for for the Lord holdeth all things in his hand, dwelleth in thy, dwelleth, dwelt in thy womb, and he sanctified and glorified, and glorified thee, and taught all to cry to thee. Rejoice, tabernacle of God, the word. Rejoice, saints, saint greater than the saints. Rejoice, ark, yielded by the spirit. Rejoice, inexhaustible treasury of life. Rejoice, precious di diadem, of pious, diadem of pious kings. Rejoice, venerable host of reverend priests. Rejoice, unshakable fortress of the church. Rejoice, inviolable wall of the kingdom. Rejoice, thou who victories are obtained. Rejoice, thou who, whom foes fall prostrate. Rejoice, healing of the flesh. Rejoice, salvation of the soul. Rejoice, thou bread and wedded. O all praise, Mother, who didst bear the word holiest of all, thank all the saints. Accept now our offering and deliver us from all misfortune. And rescue from the torment to come. Rescue us from the torment to come. Those that cry to thee, Alleluia. All, all, o all, praise Mother, who didst bear the word holiest of all the saints, accept our, now our offering, and deliver us from all misfortune, and rescue from the torment to come. Those that cry to thee, Alleluia. O all, praise Mother, who didst bear the word holiest of all, think, all the saints, accept now our offering, and deliver us from all misfortune. And rescue from the torment to those to come those who have cried to thee, Alleluia. An archangel was sent from heaven to say to the Theotokos, Rejoice, and beholding thee, O Lord, taking bodily form, he was amazed, and with a bodiless voice he stood crying to her, saying such these things. Rejoice thou who through whom joy will shine forth, rejoice thou who through whom the curse will cease, rejoice recall of fallen Adam, rejoice redemption of the tears of Eve, rejoice height inaccessible to human thought. Rejoice, deaf, indiscernible, even to the eyes of angels. Rejoice, thou who art the king's throne. Rejoice, thou who bears him all, who bears him who beareth all. Rejoice, star that causes the sun to appear. 
Rejoice whom the divine incarnation? Rejoice thou who, whom, through whom creation is renewed? Rejoice thou whom we worship, worship the creator? Rejoice thou bride and wed? To thee, the champion leader, we thy servants dedicate a feast of faith, victory, and of thanksgivings, as well as ones who are skewed out of sufferings of the faith of as our own might, which is invincible, from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us, and may cry to thee, rejoice thou bride and wedded.
thy grace. And in this of the full day, may the perfect holy peace on sinners. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Saturdays and each of the Sundays of Great Lent have a special commemoration. And this is the Saturday of the Laudation of the Mother of God. This feast was established uh, already in Constantinople uh, to especially thank and acknowledge the Mother of God and her many times that she protected the city and the empire uh, from all sorts of difficulties and troubles, invasions, pandemics, and everything else. And it seems to me that this particular feast it is a is a big favorite of orthodox people and it should be because the mother of god is our sort of first saint she's a human just like us she's not one of the godhead she's not anything except someone who is fallen and chose not to fall in, to follow that fallenness try to say that three times fast and if we hearken back to her dormition, or maybe look ahead, because when we hearken back, we have to think about our pandemic. When we look ahead, we 
have hope for it going away. We think of how she affirmed to the apostles when the apostle Thomas came late, again, the most orthodox apostle, always late. Uh, he didn't find the mother of God and they served their agape meal, they had communion and the heavens opened and they saw the mother of God by her son and she said, you know, I'll always intercede before my son for you, so please ask me. And I think that, I'm paraphrasing, of course, and I think that it's very important that we not lose sight of this, especially in this time of difficulty that we're living through. Every generation has their indelible mark that's placed upon it. You know, for my parents, it was probably where they were when John F. Kennedy was killed, or how that affected them. For my generation, it's it probably, well, two things, but anyway, the, the gold medal of the U.S. hockey team is not, we're not thinking about positive things, but you know that 9-11, when that happened, uh, and for this generation, I guess it will be this pandemic. There's always good in any bad, and as Orthodox Christians, it's important that we seek that. And it's also important that we entreat the saints who stand near the throne of the Lord to pray for us to Him. Of course we pray to God. Nobody is in the way of that. But the fact of the matter is that when we ask the prayers of the saints, it's helpful to us. So why would we throw away that gift that the Lord gives to us? And the Mother of God first and foremost. On this day at Holy Trinity Monastery in Jordanville is always sort of our lavra abroad. Uh, it's the tradition to tonsure monks after the Akathist last night. Um, I don't know where any tonsure, God willing. Uh, we'll find out soon in the next few days. But I think that it's good for us even to know that, to understand that, that this particular feast is also really a feast of monastics because the Mother of God is sort of the prototypical monastic who dedicated her life to God and lived in virginity. So brothers and sisters, let's call upon the Mother of God in our time of need and ask her to pray to her son for us. She said she will do this, and her track record is good. When, we, when Orthodox people have asked her to pray to him, she's done it, and things have gotten better. But we always have to remember, God answers all of our prayers. Sometimes the answer is no, or sometimes the answer is wait. That doesn't really fit with our schedule. It's inconvenient for us, and we don't like that. But we have to understand, there's always an answer. But the answer isn't always exactly what we want, because God loves us as a parent. We ask the saints to pray for us, and they do. And the Lord hears their prayers. He hears our prayers, and He gives us what's best for our salvation. And in the end, this is what we want more than anything, brothers and sisters. And on this day of the laudation of the Mother of God, I think it's good for us to remember that, to ask her prayers but to remember to be patient and to understand that sometimes when the Lord answers, the answer is not yet or sometimes no, just like a parent has to sometimes tell their child no. If we can understand that, then brothers and sisters, we can have peace. Whether we have a pandemic, whether we have an invasion, whether we have a, whatever we have, you know, use your wildest imagination. For us as Christians, can't say it doesn't matter. Of course it matters, it affects us. But panic is not a Christian thing. We need to be peaceful and thankful and look for the good in the bad. And certainly the mother of God, living such a difficult life as she did, uh, standing by the cross of her son, she learned how to do that. We would do well to emulate her as best as we can. Amen. The next service, brothers and sisters, at St. Vladimir's will be tonight at 6 o'clock. Uh, we will have vigil in preparation for the last Sunday of Great Lent, which will be tomorrow, uh, the Sunday of St. Mary of Egypt. The Sunday after that is Palm Sunday. It's not Great Lent anymore. It's still Lent, but it's Holy Week. Uh, and somehow we've completely lost our understanding of time. Uh, the last, you know, eight days of March when we were put on to, or nine, whatever it was, when we were put into quarantine, it seemed like, you know, 800 days. And at the same time, Great Lent is passing faster than ever before, at least in, in my estimation. And it's important that we not get distracted by everything that's happening around us in society, you know, the great shortage, catastrophe of toilet paper, or whatever it is. We need to concentrate on Great Lent and the good that we can get from it, because it's going to be gone quickly. It's going to be gone quickly. And now here we are on the last Saturday, of Great Lent. Next Saturday it's Lazarus. That's Holy Week. This is the last Saturday of Great Lent. Let's take these last two weeks that we've got, this last full week of Great Lent, 
and the Holy Week to really prepare ourselves to meet the risen Lord. Whether we meet him here, or we meet him in a field somewhere, or we meet him in our homes, or wherever we meet him, he will rise. And it's important for us as Christians to be ready to greet him wherever it is that we find ourselves greeting the resurrection of the Lord. Now let's come, brothers and sisters, and receive the Antidora, and we'll listen to the Thanksgiving prayers in the afternoon.